Hi, this is Sandra from Source Outreach Ministries. Welcome today for a number, another numbers uh, session with the Bible's numbers. And today we welcome in Minister La from Blaku Ministries. And also we welcome in Gina. Uh, she's also a Blaku student as I am also. And uh, she uh, has some uh, videos out there called the Simplicity Series, also the Spiritual Warfare Series. So check her out on the YouTube channel, The Bible Talk Show, okay? <laughs> so this week, uh, we're going to be looking at the number seven. Number seven is a number of completeness. Mm -hmm. And uh, the definition that I found for it, it says the state or condition of having all the necessary or appropriate parts. So everything is put in. It's a finished deal. It's complete. Okay. So also the number seven um, in scripture symbolizes completion or per perfection. Um, Genesis tells us that God created the heavens and the earth in six days. And upon the completion, God rested on the seventh day. Genesis 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 through 2. And then also uh, King David, David referenced the number seven and describing the perfect nature of God's word when he wrote that the Lord's words are flawless, flawless like gold refined seven times and you'll see that in the Bible a lot of times you're going to be refined like gold seven times mm -hmm. so there's so many other sevens in there and then also in Genesis God promises not to destroy the earth again with a flood and mem memorializes this covenant and I didn't know this, with a rainbow, mm -hmm. which is comprised of seven colors. Mm -hmm. So even in our time, we can look at the rainbow and see what God has promised us. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Daniel 3.19, King Nebuchadnezzar commanded that the furnace would be heated seven times hotter than it was before when he wanted to burn up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because they wouldn't bow down to him. So the seventh up, you know, seven up for furnace, seven up for not to destroy you, for the rainbow. It's really fantastic, all the sevens that are in the Bible. And I'm studying right now in another series on Revelation. And seven in Revelation, this is there a lot. So um, just uh, check us out. Continue to stay watching us. And we're going to let Minister Love and Gina now add what they have found. <laughs> Gina, you want to go first? Sure. I mean, the number seven is... Is, is for completion. I had a dream back, way back when I was a baby Christian and I needed seven cents to get on the bus to go to heaven, but I only had six. So that right there is telling you I was still in the man, in the man phase, but I needed seven pennies, seven cents to get on the bus to go to heaven. So seven is very special That's to me. That's good. That's good. I like that. That's I just I, I just want to add to what you found in your research, Sandy. I thought it was great how you put those scriptures together, how you said that uh, uh, God's word is refined seven times like gold. And look what happened to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went into this furnace, a fiery furnace. And spiritually, they were refined like gold because they came out, I mean, incomplete. They had no burn, no smell. They were still complete. So, but then let me just add one more thing. Uh, you know, we have another uh, ministry called Black Coup. Well, guess how many letters is in Black Coup? Seven. So, woo, -hoo, we are complete. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. All right. So um, there are many great studies of the number seven in the Bible. And today we're going to give you three scriptures that goes further on to describe it. And when you have time, read your Bible daily and you're going to cross the number seven many times in this book. Okay, so the first excuse one, me, Sandy. Excuse go ahead. Me, I gotta I gotta get my Bible. Hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> And Woo! get your Bible on completion. Woo! Got it right here, y'all. <laughs> all right. All right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So the sweetheart. first one is um, Genesis 2.2. 2, and it reads, And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had made. And this is um, where we were just talking earlier that God created the heavens and the earth, right? It took him six days. But then on the seventh day, he no longer had anything else to do with it. He put everything in the earth, all the stars, the moon, and man and woman, and all the animals. And then he had a day of rest, number seven. 
So just like Gina said, she had to get seven pennies to get to heaven. Same thing. These concepts, you you know, you, you, you go through six and then get to seven. So it's really mm -hmm. fascinating. Yeah. All right. So we have Gina with Revelation 111. All right. It's funny you gave me this scripture, uh, Sandy, because... Right after I had the dream, I was in the seven churches in the book of Revelation for wow. months. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's good. Does God, God, God loves uh, and Humor. shows us the number seven yes. quite often. Okay, so here we are, Revelations 111. This is Jesus speaking, and he's speaking uh, uh, to the churches, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Mm -hmm. So we got seven churches, people. So interesting how uh, Jesus chose to write to these seven churches that are in what we now call Turkey, which were the beginning of the churches. Uh, started, you know, uh, after Jesus uh, went to the cross and you, this Christianism was, was birthed. So now we have seven churches, which are the starting of the church, which is going to evolve into us today. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. And um, Minister Love has another Revelations mm -hmm. 16, verse 17. All right. And it reads, and the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. Wow. I, I love this scripture. Like Gina would just uh, had her scripture. And notice it that you got to be special for God to choose seven churches out of all the churches because it was more than seven churches back then and it was and it's more than one angel isn't it so can you imagine being chosen and god said i only need seven wow and there you are one of the seven so i like this because even angels have a special position with god he chooses them for his what completeness to complete the book of revelation god needed that number seven wow that's really great. Um, do you guys have anything else you want to add to this about the number seven to you personally or uh, uh, anything? Ooh. Uh, Gina, did you? Go, go, go ahead. Uh, uh, okay, okay. You know, I thought about, you know, uh, God has seven spirits. And, and they're over in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. I won't give them all. But he got seven spirits. So even God's spiritual nature is complete because he only needed seven of these spirits and Jesus had every one of them. Jesus even uh, uh, quoted that, that scripture about this uh, Isaiah. He quoted the same thing. Wow. Talk about completeness. Seven, seven spirits, seven churches, seven angels. Mm, kind of making sense. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And Gina. Um, basically, I mean, it's for us to strive, you know, because we, we hear the number seven so much and we want to be complete, you know, that's, that's, it gives us a, a number. Uh, it's, uh, it's very personal to me because of that dream that I had, you know, I wanted to get on that bus so bad, but I only had six cents. So, um, the bus driver let me get on and I was able to tour around, but I couldn't get off the bus without seven. So seven is just a very special number to God. And it's a very special number to me personally, because I know that's what I need in order to get to God is that, that completeness. Cause he, you know, he's complete and he wants us to be complete as well. So seven is a special, special number. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, ladies. This is great. This is a great lesson today, folks. And uh, we just thank you that you're here and we'll have Gina uh, close us out. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We thank you for your special number seven. We just thank you for the, your completeness and wanting us to be there right with you, Lord, because you would not want anyone to be lost. You want the one other than the 99. You chase after us, God. So we just thank you. We praise you. We love you. We just say thank you for loving us, loving us so much that you gave us your one and only son to die for us, that we may be healed and, and, and complete. 
through your love and your sacrifice. We thank you. We praise you. And we say, amen. Amen. Thank you all for coming and joining us. Thank you for uh, studying your Bible. Thank you for digging deeper into the word of God that you may find fullness and completeness yourselves. Don't forget to visit us on the next one. We'll be studying the number eight. (laughs) All right. Bye, all. Bye, Bye, everyone. When you butcher yourself up, you go oh. see Sherry. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, y'all. It said recording in progress. Hold on. Oh, stop. okay. Sorry. I'll get it again.